Hello guys, it's Tom here from WB Trading and welcome along to the first in a series of short videos to guide you through using the TradingView platform. Now, one of the most common questions we get from traders who join us at WB Trading is what platform should I be using? Now there are lots of excellent platforms out there and I don't think there is a perfect platform. But in terms of free and easy to access software, in our opinion, TradingView is one of the best. I'd like to point out at this stage that we are in no way affiliated with TradingView and this is simply an educational guide to help you out as traders. Now, all that's left to do is to get started and we'll jump into TradingView. We'd also love to hear from you as traders which other platforms you would like us to cover in the future. We already have a series of videos that covers the IG platform so if you'd like to find out more about using IG, I'll put a link into the description of this video. Now, the first time you visit TradingView, you'll be greeted with this homepage. Before we get into any charts, I'd just like to cover a few things that we can see on the screen. Now, TradingView has both a free account and a paid account. I have a paid account, but for the purpose of this, I've signed up for a new free account and everything I show you here will be accessible free. So along the top here, we've got the main sections of TradingView, chart, markets, news, screeners, community, and more features. For this video, we're only gonna focus on markets and we'll cover some of the others in later videos. So the first thing we need to do is to select the market that we're gonna check. Now, if we go into this section, you can see that there's a few drop-down menus and some of them you may recognize, some of them you may not. For the purpose of this first video, we're just gonna select a major currency pair and show you the chart there. So I'm gonna go into the currency section here. I'm gonna go up here and select Euro dollar. Now, once we select our market, your screen should look something similar to this. Now there's a lot going on here and you can see, we can scroll down and see more and more information about the market we've selected. We wanna be focusing on the charts, so we're gonna go on to launch full chart view in a moment. One thing that I want to cover before we do that is up here in the top corner. You can see we have the market highlighted and below we have the broker that's giving us the data for this particular market. Now, if you can see when you drop down this, there's a number of broker options. It doesn't matter significantly which broker you pick because they're all very close in terms of their quotations, but I think it's important to keep the same broker when you switch markets. So for the purpose of this, we're gonna use FXCM. I click there, and as I said, we'll click launch a full chart view. And this is the screen that we're greeted with. Now, once we're on this screen, we can start to go through the features. There's a lot going on here, and I'm gonna split it out into a number of videos, but for now, we're just gonna go through the very basics of the chart layout and the features that you get when you're on this screen. So, the first thing is, along the side here, there's quite a lot of features. A lot of these we'll come back to in future videos. For now, the really key one up here is watch list and details. And if you expand this out by clicking on it, you should get this section here. Now. Again, it's adding a lot of detail onto the screen. The important thing here is that it allows us to quickly switch between different markets that we have on our watch list. So you can see here, again, this is just a quick free account. So it's set up with the default markets, but I can quickly switch between Euro dollar and pound dollar or dollar yen, or moving to different market sectors here. We're back on Euro USD now, and we're just gonna go through some of the other features. So the first thing I'll do is to hide this watch list, just click the button that we use at the top to expand it, and we'll leave this side of the screen for a later video. Now, a few basic things that it's good to understand how TradingView works in terms of putting your chart together. One common thing that traders will ask is, how do we change between the background colors? And some traders prefer a darker background, some traders prefer a lighter background. In TradingView, up here in the other corner, where we have the settings, we can just click this out quickly. And down here is the option to change to a dark color theme. And as you can see, we can flip between the two. 
My personal preference is this, but I understand a lot of traders like to have a dark color theme. So the option is there. Looking along the top here, we have a few different settings. We have our market selection, which we can change if we load this screen up. We have our time frame selection. So at the moment, I'm looking at a daily candle. We can drop this down to anything in this range. Now on a free account, we can't go into the seconds. The lowest we can go is one minute. But on a pro account, you have access to everything here. The next tab along is the candle layout, or if you want to change it to a line, area, baseline, etc. There are a few advanced features in here, so we can change to Heiken Ashi candles or Renko candles, if that's what you're looking for. But the majority of traders, I would suggest we leave it on just candles. The next option, compare, can be a really useful tool if you're looking to see how markets are behaving against each other, maybe checking for any market correlation. We can just simply open this up, select a different currency pair or an entirely different market whatsoever, and it will overlay against the market we've already selected. So in this example, I'm just gonna pick GBP USD. We'll load it up and you can see now it's given us this orange line on the screen to represent the behavior of GBP USD against the Euro USD that we already have on. Now, for those of you that may want to see this as a set of candles as well, if we go up here into the top corner and into settings here, we can change the style to candles or to whatever settings you would like. And now you can see maybe a little bit easier to compare the two. We'll get rid of that though, and we'll just focus on the next section, which are indicators. Now, we'll come back to indicators in a later video because there's an awful lot to go through there and it deserves a lot of detail. So we'll just leave that for the moment. Templates wise, Again, we'll come back to that when we look at our indicator templates, but it does allow us to quickly switch between different markets and view the same information if we've loaded up a set of indicators and timeframes that we want to study. Alert wise, again, one for a later video, but as the name suggests, we can set alerts and notify us of certain behaviors in the market that trigger indicators or certain price levels that the markets reach. Replay, one more for a later video, it allows us to go back and see market behavior and essentially forward test, even if we are back testing. Along the second area at the top here, we have this, which is just a hollow rectangle at the moment. Now, this is only available on a pro account, but if you're wondering, can we split the screen up into multiple charts? This is the method to do it on training view. So if you can see, we select this, we can choose a lot of variations to see multiple charts on one screen. So very simply, we could do two or all the way up to seeing eight charts in one go. Obviously on a free account, as I said, not available, but it's an option there if you decide to go for a pro account on TradingView. Next to this section is the template section. So what we can do when we put chart layouts onto the screen, if you want to save that particular setup, maybe a combination of time frame and indicators, we can load it up here as well. Finally, over here in chart properties, a lot of different features. We can change colors around on the chart. We can change the appearance. We can change scales. We can put events on or off. So if you want to see when news is occurring, there's an option to do it in here. We'll cover all of this in another video though. And just here, full screen or not full screen and taking a screenshot if we want to. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, We'll cover this in a later video, but this includes all of your drawing options from just simple lines all the way down to adding features such as Fibonacci levels or Elliott waves. And you can see there's a lot of options down here. The final thing that I wanted to cover for this intro video today is down in the bottom corner here with the time zone. Now, it's set in my local time zone at the moment, but if you wanted to quickly compare how a market behaves at a certain open in whatever region in the world, you can select and change your time zone to quite a wide variety here. As default, I would always leave it as my time zone, but if you need to change, the option is there. That's everything that we're going to cover in the video today, but as mentioned, we'll spend the next few videos going through the various features there that we've outlined quickly. 
Really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been beneficial for any of you that may be looking for a new trading platform or you've been using TradingView and you're not sure about some of the features. So we'll hopefully cover a lot more in the videos to come. As I mentioned at the start, if there's any features or any other trading platforms you would like us to cover and go into detail on, please just let us know in the comments. Other than that, thank you for your time. Hope to see you on the next video.